Okay, now I'm going to put a pattern in the border which doesn't have its um, start and end point on the, at, the lowest, at the lowest point of the pattern. So I've, I've wiped out the loops. Um, add edit pattern, add a pattern, line pattern. And the pattern I'm going to choose is down here in my catalogue. Betty Flower continues. Okay, so I'll start here at the corner where this, where the seam line is, just so it's easy for you to see. So I'm going to go. Okay, I'm going to make this flower go over two squares. Okay, it's sitting. The start and the end point is right in the middle of the flower, so the flower is sitting right over the seam line, and I want it up in the border. So I need to shift it. Now, which way do I need to shift it? Let's see. If I touch horizontal shift. And I look over here, the arrows are pointing left and right, which means it will shift the pattern left or right. I don't want to do that. I want to shift it, shift it up. So I've touched the wrong one. I'm going to touch vertical shift. And now I can move the pattern up. Now I can either use these, or I can drag with my finger, or I can use this stylus, whichever. Okay, so I've moved it up. Now I need to make the pattern larger, because two inches isn't going to fill that border. So I'm going to touch pattern height, and I'm just going to drag it. Um, let's do vertical shift again, move it up a bit till I think it looks good. Here's my seam line, here's the outer edge of the border, and I'm just, I'm just looking at it to see what I think, if I think it looks good. And I think that looks pretty good. So it, the vertical shift is 1.74, the pattern height is 3.19, I like that. Um, so I'm going to touch OK, but now I'm going to restart because I want to put a flower right in the corner. So I'm going to wipe that one out, and I'm going to start right over here. And I'm going to touch OK. Here comes my flower in the right place. And you can see the diagonal line across the corner of the border. And you see it's going right through the middle of that flower, so it's going to be placed nicely in the corner. So that's my first repeat. My needle is still tracing along that seam line between the sashing and the border. There's my second repeat. There's my third one. And after I do each one, I'm glancing up to see if the flower needs adjusting at all. Okay. Okay, now I would go all the way along the border uh, with that. Um, and then that's, that's the top border. And then when I've done the whole border, I'll touch finish. And now I'm going to come down here. So I'm going to add edit pattern, add pattern line pattern. And I'm going to go back here, and I'm at the seam line. Now let's see, my, the pattern height hasn't changed, the vertical shift is still the same. Let's see what happens. I've got my needle at the corner, I'm going to touch OK, and I'm coming down here. Now, because I've got vertical shift still on, it's placed the pattern still 1.74 inches above where my needle is. I don't want it there, it needs to be down here. So I'm going to touch OK, then restart. I'm going to go back here. OK. Um, I want to wipe out the vertical shift. I want to make that zero. So I'm touching the um, uh, calculator zero. Now I'm going to bring my pattern down here. Again, I'm looking at my seam line so I know where to stop. Now here's my pattern right on top of the seam line. I want it over this way now, to the left. So I'm going to go horizontal shift, and I'm just going to drag the pattern over here. Now, uh, that looks pretty good. So let's touch OK. Now let's zoom. I want to pan so you can see it here. Here I've got a gap, so I still need to um, restart and adjust it so this flower will actually be much closer to this one. So I'm going to do restart. Now I'm going to, I'm looking at my image and I'm looking at where my needle is and I'm going to put my needle line so it's touching that petal. Now I'm going to touch OK and now I'm going to come down the seam line on the quilt and that's much better. I still need to shift it over a little bit so I'm going to touch horizontal shift and I'm just going to move it over a little bit until it looks, until it is lined up with that petal. Um, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to come down. I don't. Th I think I can only do one more here. Yeah. Okay, finished. 
So let's uh, modify this so I can zoom in so you can see. So that's how you would come down the side with that one. It's not going to stitch continuously because this row starts here and this one starts here. So you'll have to stitch this and then um, you know tell IQ to stitch that one and the one at the other side. But that's how that that makes a nice uh, design, a pattern that goes around the corner nicely and pretty simply.